Dear student, uh, welcome to VTU E section of program. Uh, myself, uh, Dr. Amarna Shetty, uh, Professor, Civil Engineer Department, AJIT, Mangalore. Uh, about uh, solid waste management, uh, we will discuss about the solid waste management and uh, sources of solid waste management and uh, uh, transportation, collection and uh, uh, disposal method. Okay. Now, what is solid waste? In Kannada, we say it is Ganatyajya. Okay. In management means Ganatyajya was to delivery. Okay. Now, this is very, very important. Our Honorable Prime Minister introduced two programs. That is uh, uh, this one, uh, uh, Clean India or uh, this, uh, another one is a Smart City. Okay. Swachha Bharata Bine, you all know. For this, we need solid waste management, proper solid waste management. Okay. For, for proper solid waste management, we have to manage the solid waste in a proper way. Otherwise, uh, we could not uh, manage this smart city and also Swachha Bharata Abhinaya. Okay. Abhyana. Okay. Sorry. Abhyana. Okay. This. We will go for solid waste management. In the solid waste, there are different uh, types, uh, the different models. Okay, first uh, sources of solid waste and uh, we have the collection of the solid waste and also we have uh, this one transportation and disposal. Okay, first model. Second model process technique, okay, uh, volume reduction, strength reduction and chemical volume reduction and uh, different types of uh, uh, reducing floating, uh, this all manual uh, collection everything it is there. Third model, so I will explain now composting and uh, this one uh, sanitary landfilling. Okay, and fourth model you all know e-waste management and uh, uh, this one. Okay, e-waste management, construction waste management, bio uh, bio waste management, biomedical waste management. Okay, uh, last is uh, uh, this incineration. Okay, incineration of uh, solid waste, burning the solid waste and uh, to uh, okay manufacturing of uh, energy and gases okay municipal incinerator and 3t process pyrolysis and uh, these are the okay about the solid waste management okay dear student we will go now the, the third model i will discuss about the third model that is composting okay uh, this is the syllabus of uh, uh, this one composting uh, and uh, sanitary landfilling First one, aerobic composting in that uh, process description, process microbiology, design consideration. Okay, these are the three we have to study in uh, aerobic composting. Okay, in anaerobic composting, same process description, process microbiology. Okay, then we go for. Okay, design consideration, mechanical. Uh, okay, this is about aerobic and anaerobic composting. Then we go for mechanical composting, types of the composting, mechanical composting and uh, vermicomposting. Uh, there is one numerical problem and we go for the next part is the sanitary landfilling. Okay, in that definitions of the sanitary landfilling and advantage and disadvantage of sanitary landfilling. Okay, next we go for, okay. Uh, site selection methods in sanitary landfilling, very important method, site selection method and a reaction occurring in landfill. What are the reaction that I will explain? What are the reaction occurring in uh, this one, okay, uh, landfill and gas and leachate movement in the sanitary landfill, gas and leachate movement in a sanitary landfill and controlling of gas and leachate movement, very, very important. Controlling of gas and leachate movement, that is also very important. And design of sanitary landfilling, okay. 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 And final numerical problems, okay. Now we go for what is composting, what is aerobic composting, what is anaerobic composting, and 
uh, detail about that. Okay. What is composting? You all know we are using the compost okay, for the agriculture purpose, for a growth of plant and uh, so many uh, purpose we are using the compost. Okay, we are olden, uh, olden days and now also we are using the this one okay, chemical composting. Okay. If you use chemical composting that is very, very uh, dangerous okay, uh, and it is also toxic. Okay. If you use the chemical, if you grow the fruits, if you grow the vegetable for uh, from the chemical composting, it is very very dangerous. Okay, it is uh, it may cause us diseases. Okay, lot of diseases from this composting. Now we go for this compost. This is also called organic organic composting. Okay, this is also called organic composting. This is composting is a process in which organic material undergo bio biological degradation to stable nuisance free humus like end product that is called composting okay this this mainly in this we are using organic material means this food materials okay food materials and uh, vegetables and uh, this all okay we will segregate all plastic okay and uh, wood or any hard materials okay and uh, all that we will segregate separate it only food materials and uh, vegetables okay and all organic materials we are used using this okay it will undergo biological degradation with the microbes it will go biological degradation okay with the oxygen that is called aerobic uh, okay with the anaerobic process also without air also okay degradation stable nuisance free humus uh, soil end product is soil like structure uh, this will come okay without any harmful okay that it is called this is chemical less okay we are not using any chemicals in this okay not using any chemicals we are using only this micro uh, this microorganism uh, do the bio uh, biological degradation and uh, and uh, their uh, last end product is the compost. It is very, very important. Nowadays, we are using the organic compost. Okay, That is uh, the cost of that uh, fruits by used by the organic compost or vegetable is higher than the what we are using the chemical composting. Okay, This is about the uh, okay, composting process, uh, this uh, composting. Understood now what is uh, composting? Okay. Okay, then we go for. There are two types of compost. There are two types of compost. Okay, composting. Okay, that is one is called aerobic composting. One another one is called anaerobic composting. Okay, aerobic composting is a process which organic waste are converted into compost or manure in presence of air. This is very very important in presence of air okay in presence of air this okay this is very very important in presence of air so it is called aerobic composting so it is called aerobic composting process in which organic waste it may be food material it may be okay food material or yeah, this one vegetable or anything organic waste converted into compost or a manure end product is manure in presence of air very very important that is the aerobic composting okay this aerobic composting okay what is aerobic composting composting is uh, aerobic composting is process which organic waste are converted into compost or a manual presence of air okay next we go okay this is the you can see this is the method of uh, aerobic composting okay in presence of air direct sunlight and air Okay. So, it is called aerobic composting, some microorganism we are using the micro or worms we are using okay. this without a pathogenic uh, microorganisms. Okay. This, uh, we, we, uh, this is the process of uh, aerobic composting, okay. this in this in presence of air. So, I showed this uh, drawings okay, of this figure, this in presence of air, no uh, this one okay, light and everything this open. Okay, in presence of air. So, it is called aerobic compost. This method I will tell you 
detail okay next slide okay then we go for okay first we go for process description very very important how the process take place in aerobic composting process description first waste we are segregated the waste only organic waste we are adding to okay this one for the aerobic composting organic waste means food waste okay that the kitchen waste okay and uh, it may be vegetable it may be fruits it may be plants okay organic waste we are separated all the uh, this one okay we are separated uh, plastic waste and uh, anything okay boxes or anything which is uh, wood okay metals uh, all the metals everything we separated and we kept in or now already i shown the figure in that okay in the tank or anything we fill it okay then we will add microorganism or microorganism okay and with oxygen they want oxygen okay air is needed so it is called aerobic composting okay microorganism with oxygen so it is called they need oxygen okay for this they need oxygen for the growth okay they will take respiration synthesis they will produce more and more more and more microorganism take place okay more and more microorganism okay that uh, they will grow population will increase day by day day by day they will increase they will get the energy they will eat that okay they will eat that okay their end product okay excreta their end product is okay so for co2 h2o na3 okay end product is the manure understood this is the process description of aerobic composting waste microorganism with the oxygen they will take the oxygen respiration for the respiration and for synthesis okay then they will reproduce more and more microorganism will okay grow and they will eat all the waste okay their excreta their end on end product is okay that is the process description of okay aerobic composting understood no okay waste microorganism with oxygen respiration since more and more microorganism grows and uh, okay energy more and more they will get more and then they will eat okay their end product is called composting okay that is the process description of aerobic composting okay next we go for next slide okay what is the next slide this is a composting aerobic composting methods okay food organic uh, this one or the food this uh, organic uh, uh, this one okay it may be food material it may be green wood waste or uh, this one this is the compost vessel or a tank okay it need air okay okay master see and with this all we have to maintain the moisture contain carbon and uh, nitrogen ratio porosity it need 3 to 8 weeks okay it need 3 to 8 weeks for the this one okay for digestion everything okay for uh, the uh, see, uh, this process okay then we curing period is 6 to 8 week okay then we will get the end product is okay soil uh, ambient okay that is also called compost okay this is the process already i shown the this one okay in this i have shown this the waste that also we have shown in next slide also okay microorganism with the oxygen respiration okay they will get the energy they will eat that then this process this is also same process okay we have to maintain this all i will tell you okay how much moisture we have to maintain how per carbon ratio uh, carbon uh, divided by nitrogen ratio okay porosity and uh, it need 3 to 6 week for uh, this one and for curing period uh, this 6 to 8 week okay total 6 to 8 week we will get the end product that is the compost aerobic compost okay uh, all the process will take place here and uh, 6 to uh, final uh, okay one week we uh, curing process and uh, okay this one uh, we will uh, then after uh, getting the compost we will uh, the, this one will uh, uh, 
final product we have to pack and we have to sell what are the rate everything it is available uh, per kg 54 rupees uh, something is there less also it is there okay this is uh, we have to do the sleeve okay so of the this one uh, manure and we have to pack and uh, marketing this is a process a lot of uh, uh, this process is going on okay vermicomposting okay bangalore process indoor process and so many processes going on uh, in this okay this uh, this uh, f this uh, manure is sold for 54 rupees 45 uh, lot of uh, uh, they have the okay commercial value okay then we go for uh, okay uh, arabic composting okay process description over okay uh, this microbiological process okay uh, this arabic composting is the common uh, used biological process for conversion of uh, organic uh, portion of msw to humus like uh, material okay uh, known as compost all the aerobic composting process are similar okay that have three basic step okay three basic step okay one by one okay see pre processing of msw aerobic decomposition of organic fractions of msw product preparation and uh, marketing what i told now okay next nice slide okay pre processing we are separating other waste okay pre processing of the this one we are separating okay we are separating the okay we are separating all the waste it may be plastic waste separated okay and uh, this one wood or anything all the waste um, uh, all uh, metals everything is separated only organic waste are okay sent to for, for the, we are using the this for the uh, uh, this is the main uh, this one for the uh, aerobic composting okay organic uh, food material already i showed in the slide okay aerobic decomposition of organic waste fractions of msw okay this microorganism decomposed the organic okay fractions of okay msw okay this microorganism okay uh, this microorganism or it may be worms or anything okay of the organic fractions of uh, msw and product preparation and uh, uh, marketing this is the final last uh, stage okay we will get the product for six to eight week we will get the product after curing everything we have to sieve it okay and we have to dry it little bit and we have to pack it and for the we have to use for marketing this is the process okay second process okay there are different types of the process in this okay windrow aerated static piles and uh, vessels are the three okay principal method used in aerobic windrow process aerated static pile process and uh, vessels okay in vessel process are the three principal used and uh, here also we can uh, we are using a uh, uh, pile uh, this one uh, pile process uh, pile we are uh, used bangalore method indoor method and uh, uh, another so many methods vermicomposting everything we are comes under uh, this one okay fractions of process okay in this okay all the method i will explain okay biological principle remains same and when designed and operated properly all produce the similar quantity quality compost approximately in the same time period okay in this okay and the factor affecting very important aerobic composting factor affecting aerobic composting okay first one very very important aeration air oxygen is very very important in this okay oxygen aerobic compost require large amount of uh, oxygen okay in the initial stage in the initial stage aeration is a source of oxygen the aerobic composting supply if the supply of oxygen is not sufficient very very important if the supply of oxygen is not sufficient then growth of microorganism is limited okay resulting slow decomposition very very important resulting slow decomposition okay 
the growth of microorganisms also limited okay if the if they did not get the oxygen proper oxygen okay the composting process is slow microorganism growth is limit limited resulting of slow decomposition air is very aeration is very very important in factor first factor very very important okay factor affecting aerobic aeration factor aeration is very oxygen they need the oxygen very very important if the oxygen is not available properly microorganism will not grow limited growth result in slow decomposition okay very important aeration factor okay okay and aeration over then then we go for another temperature okay temperature then we go for temperature okay uh, we go for the moisture okay sorry then we go for temperature moisture is also very very important second factor moisture okay for a microorganism moisture is very important that is uh, 40, 40 to 65 percent of the moisture okay moisture content should be 40 to okay 65 percent okay moisture support the metabolic activity of the microorganism okay compost material should maintain the moisture 40 to 65 percent okay if there is a too dry piles is too dry composting occurs more slowly okay slow if it is dry if moisture is properly not managed did not manage if it dry okay the composting occurs more slow very slow okay if the while the moisture content access more than 65 percent developed anaerobic there are two types of uh, we have to maintain in a temperature also mesophilic and thermophilic okay if the temperature 45 degree below 45 degree is the mesophilic and above the 45 degree okay thermophilic that bacteria will grow in both okay some are growing in 45 some are growing in 65 i will explain that so moisture content moisture is very very important like aeration moisture we have to manage the moisture about 40 to 65 percent very very important otherwise the uh, composting is very slow okay next we will go for next slide okay uh, the, see see in practice advisable to start pile uh, composting or anything with the moisture content of 50 to 60 percent finishing about 30 percent okay finishing about 30 percent first while starting we need 50 to 60 percent finishing end stage only 30 percent is enough that is the drying stage okay drying stage we need 30 percent first we need 50 to 60 percent of moisture okay air is very important moisture is also very important for the growth of okay for the growth of microorganism if it is properly not available air and moisture the manufacturing process is very slow okay and uh, growth of the microorganism is also limited so we need both very important factor for the, this one uh, for the composting then nutrient okay nutrients okay sorry nutrients microorganism requires carbon nitrogen phosphorus potassium as a primary nutrients okay very very important microorganism requires carbon nitrogen phosphorus and potassium as a primary requirement very very important for the growth of microorganism it requires carbon dioxide it requires nitrogen it requires phosphorus it requires potassium okay for the growth they will produce okay more and more microorganism okay they will produce okay we have to maintain it for the important for the important uh, okay uh, this one we have to maintain uh, carbon ratio material okay the optimal carbon ratio of the raw material between 25 is to 1 
and 30, for, uh, 30 is to 1 through the ratio between 20 is to 1 and 40 uh, is our okay, acceptable. Okay. This, these are the ratios we have to maintain okay, carbon is to nitrogen ratio. Okay optimal carbon nitrogen ratio for the raw material between 25 is to 1 and 30 is to 1 through the ratio between 20 is to 1 and 40 is to 1 okay this also okay okay uh, we have to maintain at least 25 is to 1 and 30 is to 1 okay this ratio we have to maintain they need microorganism need okay nutrient okay this all phosphorus, potassium, carbon and nitrogen primary nutrients. Okay. They need for the growth, okay. we have to maintain. First one aeration over, second one, okay. second one uh, moisture over, third one nutrient. Okay. Next one we go for temperature, very very important third one. We have to maintain the temperature while uh, doing the composting, okay. we have to maintain. Okay, there are two types I already told two type uh, temperature thermophilic and mesophilic two temperature involving in the process of composting environment two temperature range thermophilic and mesophilic. Okay. This mesophilic initial stage okay, that is 20 to 45 degrees Celsius okay. thermophilic okay. this is the initial stage this thermophilic organism take over okay they will they need to, uh, 20 to 45 degrees celsius they need uh, this one this temperature for the growth okay then after that if it is a okay thermophilic okay it is about the range about 50 to 70 degree may be ideal okay two temperature okay for they need for uh, uh, the temperature need for this microorganism one is thermophilic okay it is uh, uh, 25 to okay 45 okay and uh, this uh, this is okay and another one is uh, thermophil it is 50 to 70 okay this is 50 to 70 very very important to uh, range temperature we need for the uh, composting okay then we go for uh, this one okay uh, we will process high High temperature characterize the aerobic composting process and through the sign of vigorous microorgan activity. Pathogenic bacteria will normally destroy 55 degrees Celsius. Very, very important. We do not want this pathogenic. Okay. If a pathogenic a microorganism is there, uh, no, we are not, uh, it is not proper uh, composting. Okay. We, we should not use uh, pathogenic. So, Pathogenics are normally destroyed at 55 degrees Celsius and above. While the critical point, okay, while the critical point for uh, elimination of weeds, weeds you know unwanted uh, plants, okay, they will also die uh, 62 uh, okay, degrees Celsius. Very important, we do not want this pathogenic microorganism and this weeds. Okay. Weeds, seeds, okay, they, we, we want to, uh, we should not use in a compost, okay. So, 55 degree above, okay, this, uh, uh, this will, uh, pathogenic will die, destroy and this weeds also about above 62 degree Celsius, they will also, okay, they will also die, okay. Uh, this, so, this is a very important, uh, this thermophilic also, uh, temperature also very, very important. Okay. Turning and aeration okay, can be used to regu uh, regulate the temperature. Okay. Turning, okay, we have to turn the, this one. Okay. If the compost in a tank, we have to turn. Okay. We have to turn that okay, with the manually or with the, any equipment. Okay. All the microorganisms get temperature and moisture, okay, everything. Okay. So, turning is also very, very important in there temperature okay process over three uh, factors are over and we will go for a fourth one that ph value you all know we have to maintain the ph value we know that ph scale okay uh, 0 to 7 okay 7 to 14 okay if 7 is the neutral okay below acidic above 
alkanic. Okay. Uh, this one pH in this value pH we have to maintain. Okay. See for although the natural buffering effect of the composting process land itself acceptable material and wide range of pH. Okay. pH should not exceed 8 very very important. Okay. pH should not exceed 8. Okay. So, this is the okay, maximum 8 or 8.5 should not exceed. Okay. Higher pH level more ammonia gas will be generated very important. Okay. Higher pH level more ammonia gas is generated may be lost to atmosphere. Okay. Most to atmosphere. Okay. Ammonia gas will be developed. Okay. Higher pH if it more than 8 higher pH ammonia okay, gas will be developed. Okay ammonia gas will be developed. So, the we have to maintain the pH below 8. Okay. It may be 8.5 also okay. below 8 we have to maintain the pH level very important. Okay. This is uh, one of the important pH level. Okay. Ligin contains okay. uh, ligin contains is one of the most uh, main constants of the plant cell wall. Okay. The and its complex chemical structures makes uh, higher resistance to microbial degradation. According to Richard 1990s, he has told it. Okay, linking kind of one of the most uh, constants of uh, plant cell wall, and it is complex chemical structure makes to higher resistance to micro uh, microbial degradation. Richard 1990s, yes. Okay, this nature of linking are two impl uh, implications. Okay. One by one, we will go. Okay, two types. Okay, one is that lignin this uh, reduce the bioavailability of, of the other cell wall. Okay, making the actual carbon uh, nitrogen ratio. Okay, that is the uh, ratio of biogradual uh, C to N carbon to okay nitrogen lower than one normally cited. cited okay. And uh, this one, okay. And they are uh, they uh, the other is that lignin survive as the porosity enhancer, which create the favorable condition for aerobic composting. Okay, create the favorable conditions. Okay, this other lignin survive the porosity enhancer. Okay, so it is very very important. Okay, this one. Okay, this is very important. Okay. Uh, okay, this see this line. Okay, okay, porosity and favorable conditions. Okay, for aerobic composting. Okay, this is very very important. This line. Okay, uh, lignin survives as a porosity enhancer, which create the favorable condition for aerobic composting. This is very very important. This is about uh, this one first point. Okay, then we go for okay second point. Okay, we will go for second point. Okay, we will uh, go for second point. Okay, uh, okay, that, that uh, we will finish. Okay, polyphenols. Okay, polyphenols include hydrosable and condensed tannins. Okay, this uh, scientist has told two thousand C thought. Okay, insoluble condensed tannin binds the cell wall and proteins and makes them physically and chemical less accessible to decomposer. Okay, very very important polyphenol. Okay, polyphenols include hydrosoluble and condensed tannins. Okay, scientists have showed so uh, this one uh, two thousand T. Okay, insoluble condensed tannin blind okay, the cell wall and protein and make them physically or chemically less accessible of decomposer. This one polyphenol. Okay, this is another uh, factor uh, that affecting the aerobic uh, composting. Okay. Next we go for soluble uh, that continue continuation of that soluble contents and hydrosoluble tannins 
reacts with the protein and reduce the micro, micro, microbial okay, degradation okay, and thus nitrogen released. Polyphenol and ligands are attracting more okay, attention as inhibiting factor. Okay. This is a very important okay, this factor. Okay. Uh, this one make, uh, soluble condensed and uh, hydrosoluble tannin react with the protein and reduce the micro, uh, microbial uh, degradations and ligands are attracting more attention okay, as the inhibiting factors. Okay. This is the another factor, this is also very important factor for aerobic composting. Okay. Palm et al. 2001 suggested that content of these two substances to be used classify the organic, uh, organic um, material for more efficient on form okay, natural resources utilizing including compost. This scientist has suggested this. Okay. Uh, this about uh, uh, this one. Okay. Next we go for next we go for aerobic composting microbiology. Okay. This uh, this factor affecting uh, uh, I told about temperature, moisture. Okay. Uh, then uh, what are the conditions? All uh, polyphenol, lysines, everything. What are the factor affecting the this one? Now we go for the another part, okay, aerobic composting microbiology. Okay. First point in the aerobic composting microbiology, during the aerobic composting process, okay, succession of fracture and obliquate okay, aerobic microorganisms are active, very, very important. This is active, okay, uh, see uh, which is active in uh, aerobic uh, composting. During the aerobic composting process, okay, succession of fractive, okay, facultative and uh, obligate aerobic uh, microorganisms are active. Okay, facultative and obligate uh, aerobic compositions are active. Okay, second, in the beginning phases, the composting process, mesophilic bacteria are the most prevalent. Okay, beginning factor process mesophilic uh, bacteria it is range of uh, uh, 45 to okay uh, up to 45 okay up to 45 degrees celsius okay temperature this will be active okay this in the beginning process of composting the process mesophilic bacteria are most prevalent okay then okay then we go for uh, next factor which is the uh, okay, microbial forces. In the beginning forces, okay, mesophilic bacteria are more active. That is about the temperature of about 45 degrees Celsius. Then we and after that, after end stage, thermophilic bacteria. Okay, after the temperature increased in the compost site, thermophilic uh, 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 bacteria become active. That is about 65 degrees Celsius. Okay, more than 45 it may be up to 65 degrees Celsius, they will be active. Okay. Thermophilic bacteria will be active. Okay. Okay. Then thermophilic fungi, okay, which appear after 5 to 10 days. Okay. Thermophilic fungi uh, which appear 5 to 10 days. Okay. You understood no? Okay. After temperature increase, first mesophilic bacteria is active first stage, initial stage, it is about 45 degrees Celsius. Okay. Then after that, okay, thermophilic uh, end stage, thermophilic bacteria about uh, 65 degrees Celsius, okay. 65 degrees Celsius, they are active and thermophilic fungi it also added, okay, the thermophilic fungi, okay, 5 to 10 days. Okay, this is the final stage of a uh, microbiology process. Then we go for the next slide. In the final stage, what happened? Curing period, okay. Actomine acid, okay, and most appears because of significant concentration of microorganism, okay. Actin, okay, actinomycid and uh, mold appears because, okay, uh, because significant concentration of this microorganism may not present in the same types of biodegradable waste, okay. It may necessary to add them 
in a composting material as the additive. Okay. In a final stage of curing, okay, actinomyces bacteria, uh, this one, and molds appear. Okay, actinomyces uh, bacteria and most molds appears. Okay, in significant concentration of microorganism may not present in same type of biodegradable waste. Okay, it may be necessary to add them to the compost material as the additive. Okay, this is the process of last stage in a curing period mold will be developed mold type will be developed actinomyces okay uh, this is also very important okay uh, this is the final stage of a microbiological process okay microbiological process okay now we uh, microbiological process uh, over okay which are the, uh, the types fish uh, temperature which are the bacteria Okay, mesophilic bacteria below 45 degrees Celsius, okay, thermophilic bacteria 65 degrees Celsius, they will be the active in uh, first stage uh, mesophilic bacteria will be active uh, and uh, final stage thermophilic bacteria will be active, okay, thermophilic bacteria will be active in that, okay. Then curing stage uh, actinomyces and mold stage, okay. Then the final stage is uh, that, uh, that is the curing, after curing stage they will see and they will make the, this that is the process of a microbiological process of a aerobic composting. Okay. Now, we go for design consider of, uh, consideration of aerobic composting process. Okay. Particle size very, very important. We have to cut into small particle okay. size between okay, 25 to 75 mm. Okay. Very, very important small size also it is not advisable. Okay, larger size size also not advisable. It is the size between okay size between 25 mm to uh, uh, 75 mm and 75 mm. In between that, it is advisable. Okay, particle size for the design control, for making the composting, the particle size of the waste should be 25 to 75 mm that range. Below 25 also. It, uh, it is uh, not advisable and above 75 mm also not and in between that it is uh, advisable. Okay. Next we go for one uh, over carbon and nitrogen ratio that for the design control carbon and nitrogen ratio is very very important. Initial carbon and nitrogen ratio by mass between 25 and 50 are optimum for aerobic composting. Okay. Initial carbon and nitrogen ratio by mass between 25 and 50, okay, 25 is to 50 are optimum for aerobic. We have to maintain, okay, we have to maintain this one, 25 to 50 are the optimum for aerobic composting, okay. This is the second design consideration, nitrogen ratio, particle size over, okay, 25 to 75 mm, okay. This is the carbon and nitrogen 25 to 50. We have to map. Then we go for uh, next uh, factor, uh, this one design consideration. Okay. Moisture content. Okay. Already I told moisture content should be range between 50 to 60 percent during the composting process. Very, very important. Moisture content should be to 50 to 60 percent during the composting process. Okay. This is very important moisture content should be range between 50 to 60 percent. Okay. We have to maintain 50 to 60 percent of the moisture content in the composting process. Okay. More than that, no, 50 to we have to maintain 50 to 50 and 60, 50 to 60 percent okay. in between that range. Okay. And uh, next is blending and seeding. See very very important this one to prevent drying, to prevent drying in a composting site okay, or in a tank, okay, caking, okay, cake it become cake like uh, this one and air uh, channeling, air channeling for this we have to mix and turn the compost regularly very very important for this we have to mix and turn regularly. This is a very, very, very important blending and seeding. Okay. This 
we have to prevent the drying, okay, prevent caking, okay, prevent air channeling. Okay, daily we have to mix it or turn it. Okay, for that very very important another factor. Okay, another factor we have to okay blend and this one. Okay, blend and uh, uh, we uh, we have to turn and mix. Okay, this is uh, another moisture content and blending and seeding. So what next we go for? Air requirement very very important air requirement. Okay. The air requirement at least 50 percent of initial oxidation, oxygen, okay, concern, transition remaining, okay, 50 percent we need air requirement, okay, 50 percent at least, okay, at least 50 percent of initial oxygen, okay, this is the, the we need 50 percent of the initial oxygen concern transition remaining, okay, this, okay, this is a very important. Okay, 50 percent. Another uh, design consideration. Okay, 50 percent of the uh, this one required. Okay, another we go for uh, next slide. Okay, pH control. Already I told what are the how much pH range. It should be 7 to 7.5. Maximum should not rise above 8.5. Okay, should not rise above 8.5. The okay optimum okay arrow. Uh, aerobial decomposition pit should be remain at 7 to 7.5 range pH okay. to minimize the loss of nitrogen in a form of ammonia gas pH should not rise above 8.5 very very important we have to keep in mind it should not rise above 8.5 okay. ammonia gas will develop from a ammonia gas okay. we should keep in a range of 7 to 7.5 pH range, okay. pH range should be this much, okay. pH range in between 7 to 7 and 7.5, okay. in that, okay. if it rise more than that, okay. 8.5 ammonia gas will be produced, okay. it will come to atmosphere. So, this, this is very, very important we have to keep in a design consideration. Okay. Next, we go for degree of decomposition okay degree of de uh, decomposition can be estimated by the measuring the final drop in temperature degree of self heating capacity amount of uh, decomposable and resistance okay oxygen matter in the compost okay degree of decomposition final drop in temperature degree of self heating capacity amount of decomposable and resistant organic matter in composted okay this is a degree of composition okay next we go for another design criteria okay this uh, we have completed uh, uh, aerobic composting all the process so what are the uh, uh, what are the point to be remember in that okay and uh, design consideration everything okay thank you uh, we will go for anaerobic composting in a nest uh, one okay thank you thank you students